What's good, everybody? This is Kunal, representing KP Fitness, and this is the first video in my journey series, and it's basically a journey from skinny uh, high school kid under 100 pounds um, to what I am now, which is far from what I want to be, to eventually competing. You know, hopefully I'll be uh, sponsored, endorsed, uh, start a supplement company, you know. Anything to do with fitness is my passion. That's what I love to do. And so basically, I'll be taking my workout videos, my meals, everything about my journey from what I am to me competing so that if any of you are interested or you just want to see the workouts and stuff, you go ahead and check it out. And so today I'm going to try the voiceover uh, method and see if that works well. I haven't really tried talking in my videos. The gym's pretty loud, so I don't think that would work. I think that's our best bet, but we'll see how it goes. If I don't like it, we can always change it up. Um, and I'm just learn as we go. So the videos will get better. Um, I just want to say this uh, advanced back routine. So I wouldn't do it unless I've been training properly for about a year, maybe two years. It may not seem like that at first, but to properly execute all this, you should be exhausted at the end. We only took 45 to 60 second breaks in between. And, you know, I just... Before you guys start judging right now, I'm on a bulk, so don't judge me looking kind of fat in the videos. And that's basically it, guys. I'm in Jamaica till the second week of January, so I'll be recording here. I got my boy, my workout partner, Nick, with me. He'll be in um, almost all the videos, and he'll be helping me with the tips and the advice videos as well. So you guys will get to meet him really or see him and stuff. So that's about it, guys. That's all I want to say. So here we go. Here's the workout. All right, guys. So we kicked it off with some speed work. Uh, we did six sets of five reps, some bent over rows, and you can see we're exploding up, we're just warming up, getting everything uh, ready to go. Then we went ahead and started to work out with some pull-ups. We did three sets, eight to twelve, you know, unweighted, trying to go a little slow, feel the contraction. Nick likes to just use his fingers, says it uh, helps him isolate his lats a little bit more. Then uh, we went ahead and did three sets of cable row. As you can see, I'm standing straight up, getting a nice deep stretch, contracting. Once again, we did three sets, 8 to 12. Then we went ahead and did some dumbbell rows. We did two sets of uh, 12 to 15, so one a little higher up in reps now. And um, as you notice with the cable row before, I was pulling it to my uh, my upper abs. And so with these dumbbell rows, it's going to hit my lower lats. And so that's why um, I pulled the cable row a little bit up higher. It's hit some of my rhomboids, my terrace minor. And so we went ahead and did two sets of this, like I said, 15 reps. Um, really get a deep stretch. I focus, when I'm doing this, I obviously I focus on the contraction. But I also go down slow and really make sure I feel a stretch in my lats. Then to uh, end the workout, we went ahead and did some V-bar pull downs. We went real high on this, 15 to 20 reps, really burn it out. And so, I have Nick over here, he's doing, um, he likes to almost go straight with his arms. He's a little bit more upright. And you can see he's exploding down, pulling it straight down. I went ahead and put this uh, video of me doing it as well because we have a little bit different form on this. You can see at the top my arms are a little bit bent. Um, I really have a shorter range of motion, honestly. Um, and my elbows are a little bit wider out. I feel like I can isolate my lats a little bit more like this. So I'm, getting, I'm still getting a nice deep stretch at the top and getting a squeeze at the bottom. I like to squeeze. I don't bring it all the way down to my uh, chest. I feel like it's a little bit unnecessary. I can get a proper squeeze right about a couple inches off my chest and after we got done you know we were just fucking around practicing posing and so I was just working on my uh, 
rear lat spread, uh, back double bicep. And yeah, when I finish training back, I just like to practice my posing at that time. I feel like that's the best time I can really uh, focus on it. And I almost forgot, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, email me all your training nutrition questions. Like I said, I'll be doing all these uh, tips and answering all your questions. Email in the description below and follow me on Instagram and Twitter, guys. Later.